Disappointing data hit sterling's recent rise this Wednesday. Here at the Bank of England, they're preparing for their interest rate decision tomorrow. Interesting to see if there's any split in the committee this time. And how about this for a call? An interest rate rise here in London in two months' time? If the Fed go in September, I personally wouldn't rule out November this year. And that sounds quite aggressive, uh, and, but, uh, but certainly if we look at the data backdrop, if, if, the, if the issues surrounding global equity market confidence and global risk asset confidence dissipate somewhat, the backdrop for me is much more firm, much more solid, and 25 basis points. Well, expect sterling to shoot up sharply if that were to happen. Now, back to the here and now, just what is going on with the pound. We've seen a lot of volatility in the past couple of weeks, seemingly not based on much at all. The volatility that we've seen in equity markets, the sensitivity of the UK in itself and, and sterling to uh, broader financial markets and financial market turmoil. Um, that has brought in itself the, the current account deficit issues in the UK back into play and that's counteracting with the positivity and economic growth on one side and, and the, the relative potential for a hawkish bias on the, on the Monetary Policy Committee. If we get a rate rise next week in the States, where does that leave sterling? Well, Neil is very positive on the UK and the pound in the longer term, but there are caveats. Depending on the, the, the risk appetite backdrop, I, I think that's very important for sterling. So if we are in an environment where equities are under pressure and risk assets are under pressure generally, there's lower levels of confidence in the economy, then I think sterling is vulnerable to that, more so than the safe haven of the dollar, for example. Um, outside of that, we think that the, the, the rate expectations are far more dovish than they should be, particularly relative to the dovishness in the US, and therefore that leaves opportunity for sterling to appreciate.